I have a love-hate relationship with my edge finder. Is that the edge? Is it there yet? Is that it? Back off, is that it? Hello internet, I'm Guy. So this is my classic edge finder. One end has the edge finder feature, which is a 0.2 inch diameter cylinder. The other end has a point for center finding. And for those of you who don't know the, how this functions, they actually have a spring pulling them in at both ends like that, probably the same spring all the way through. So that's how you can get this to work, right? You obviously push it up against something and wait for it to center. The thing that I don't like about this is it's really uh, user dependent to determine when it's exactly centered and when you walk away from center, whether it bumps out or not. So um, I was struggled with that. And incidentally, uh, let's just measure the diameter of this. This is a 3 8 diameter shank, which is fine. That'll go in a collet as it should. I would not use this in a chuck because the run out of a chuck is probably worse, more, more than certainly worse than uh, a collet. So this being an analog tool, um, I looked into finding a digital tool made by Fowler, which is an American company that makes precision measuring equipment. And so this one has a little light in here, which lights up whenever this touches the workpiece that you're looking to edge find. Now, a lot of people I've read on um, reviews on Amazon and so forth believe that if you go in and just touch it like that, it should work. That's just not true. There needs to be an electrical circuit between the shank and the tip. So to demonstrate that, I can do that with my Michitoyo caliper here. You touch the body here and then the other end here and you can see, uh, let me point the LED better at the, at the camera there. There you go, you can see that better. So you need metal all the way from the shank of your mill all the way around to the workpiece where this will bridge those two. So let's have a look at how this thing works. I'm going to unscrew the back end here, the battery holder. It's got a fairly strong spring there that holds the back end of the battery. Here's your battery, which is a common 12 volt battery. Yes, I know you don't see 12 volt batteries this size very often, but they're available in stores, uh, supermarkets and um, oh, probably pharmacies. And then you have this cartridge here. And as you can see, there's an LED here and a resistor here and a contact at that end and a contact at that end. So looking at the schematic, let's jump over to that. We can walk through how this works, but I wanted you to see this part right here, which is just two very common electronic parts. Looking at a schematic view, you have the battery, resistor, and LED connected between the shank and the probe tip. And when they connect, that's when the light comes on. Very simple circuit. Brilliant. So taking a look at the Fowler, I will call it a digital edge finder because it is either on or it's off. You could call it a binary one if you wanted to. You do not rotate the spindle. That would be a very bad idea for this tool. But also, because this does not deflect, you want to ease up against the edge very gently, which is what I'm going to do right now. And here I go, easing up very gently. Boom, there you are. It's clear as day when it's on and it's off. There's, there's really no hesitation, there's no hysteresis. You know when it's at the edge. And so you can set your DRO right at that point. You can come back, you can double check, and you can double check it again. Very easy. I find it just more practical and I feel more confident that I found an edge using this tool. I did check the run out and it's less than half a thousandths. There are also a bunch of very inexpensive versions, but there are two things I don't like about them. First, they have a ball end, and the other is that they are metric. So I don't have metric collets, and I don't think in metric. I really like the fact that the Fowler has a 2 tenths diameter, 0.1 inch from center to edge. It's a nice decimal number. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a like. And you can click on my logo on the bottom left to subscribe if you would like to. And if you go down into the description below, you can support me on Patreon, which would be very much appreciated. Thank you.